Hello everyone and welcome back to our wonderful Oak Street City Zoo. Welcome back to the franchise mode and thank you so much for uh, sticking with me again and watching uh, this wonderful episode. So in case uh, you guys enjoy the content as always and you um, are not subscribed yet, please continue, uh, con continue, consider doing so because hopefully that will improve my speaking in the future. Um, no, I'm just kidding. You know, if, if you like this, that would help me out a lot. However, today um, I have a little secret for you. I've got a little, little um, game I want to play today and see how that turns uh, out in the end. I have a game to give away, a random game code, but it's kind of a good one. Um, and in case to win this, I have a secret uh, buzzword, so to say, or like a code word, hidden in today's commentary. And you guys have to figure out where it is, what it is, and then you have to comment this buzzword, or code word, however you want, in the comments down below, and I'm gonna pick one randomly of you guys uh, who's going to win that game code now and that said i am basically um fixing a lot of things today and also like still doing some fixes uh, but we will also bring in a new animal in our asian area and i'm gonna put some bins down because as it uh, seems we actually ran out of bin space everywhere oh god this is just so ridiculous over here um we have so many issues like if you've seen last episode um you have seen that i don't know why but this game just i don't know keeps making uh, my laugh life hard here um because very random things appear and i have no idea that this could happen so for example the uh, orangutans we brought in two episodes ago they started fighting with each other because they didn't have enough uh, climbable space which was super weird because the climbable space um was actually pretty okay like in terms of of space overall but um somehow that was just pretty weird. Well, anyways, um, today, um, since you guys actually gave some good feedback on that, we will also do the flamingo habitat, which will be the flamingos roaming around freely in here. And then we will bring another uh, area um, in here for our just like Asian animals. And that will be this side over here with the river and stuff. Um, but beforehand, we have to check some stuff over here. So this animal died, unfortunately. Um, some of the lions are now dying because they're too old, but I think we have still some, some more new lions in here like baby lines and stuff I think we just took care of that last episode let me just see where the fence is actually there you go this is the entrance how many animals do we have in here still so we have uh, expecting offspring that is great um, do we still have a male one yeah we have the one new male I, I just brought in that's awesome so it's the white line and then they can have like and we have also babies yeah no that's fine we don't need to care about the lions that is good and what's going on here yeah we still have to stress out uh, uh, leopards because it's, yeah it's just insane over here I'm not sure if I will keep them to be honest because that is pretty much a really horrible habitat for them I think one thing I'm going to do now and this is by, I think we can easily do this by moving the barriers into a different position here. I really hope that I will be able to do this, but we were going to put like another um, separation in between by making this a fully fledged glass wall and then just one side glass to hopefully make sure that this uh, is annoying them less than it does right now. I'm gonna have to put that one a little bit further over here and let's have a look if we can make this already glass. I'm not sure if that works, but Oh yeah, that works pretty well. And then we just make that one side glass. There you go. And we raise this quite a bit so that this is just over here fine. It's not like the same level somehow. It's somewhat a little bit different here. So let's just... Uh, wait, no, let's move that one up. <laughs> While we're hearing all these wonderful um, warthogs in the background. God, there is also some stuff going on here with the babies. That's just kind of a little bit of a big warthog area. So yeah, that's definitely... Hopefully an improvement for them now as we have this stuff over here. I really do hope that this helps uh, And we're gonna do the same on this side because otherwise we will not be able to make sure that they have a good time And then we can potentially delete this barrier over here as well I'm just gonna quickly fix this um, to our advantage I guess so we're just gonna put this all a little bit more inwards and then hopefully that's gonna help with the stress level because I definitely don't want to redo this habitat. It's just not it's not my intention, you know. It's definitely not my hey, no 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 no. Just come a little bit oh god, this is finicky. There you go. I really hope that this is already enough and still not too close to the No, that's that's working just superbly fine. Awesome. Gonna move that up. So I really do hope that this works. We had, we didn't make that like super ugly now, so that hopefully does help. And now let's see, facility broken down. Um, now whatever, call mechanic. Oh my lord, look at, look at, look at this. And 
What are you guys even protesting for? Oh yeah, it's the lemurs. Okay, you know what we do, guys. You know what we do. We will we will bring all the lemurs now back and we will change this in the next episode. This will be the re... Yeah, yeah, well... This, I mean, we still make money and stuff. We don't need to... No, we don't need to go crazy. Um, so what we can just simply do, we can just go in here and check all the animals, bring them to the trade center. Look at that, they have all issues anyways. Um, and we also take the ringtail lemur. We have only these two. I mean, they are about to die anyways. So can we just, I can just rehome them both, right? Yeah, let's just do that already. Um, good. So now that sh this should actually be better. Now we fix the issue and then we can, oh God, look at, um, all right, so let's just do one habitat and see how much time is left. Maybe I'm going to fix that already this episode. I'm just going to pause the game because the, this is just going all nuts. We have 680,000. We are not doing money-wise, not doing really well, to be honest. We are losing money at this point. Um, also, all the fixes last episode showed uh, in what a bad state this uh, habitat is right now. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just going, to, just going to check if we can have some... Let's see about the welfare. Okay, so these animals have a problem here because this is too overcrowded. Um, the male one is already too old. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get rid of. Okay, let's have a look. We're gonna get rid of all of those. Uh, release them all to the wild. Let's have a look if we can do so. Yes, and then we'll get another uh, male red panda. Let's quickly do this. I'm just going to fix a few little things here. Um, that hopefully helps us a little bit out uh, on not having too many issues. So let's see where the red panda is. There you go. Red panda filter. Let's see that we get a male one. A good male one. What about you? You're not a good one. You're not a good one. You're a good one. Good one, not old. Perfect one. Awesome. Not expensive. Trade done. Okay, let's go back to the animal tab and have a look if there's anything else going badly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I can, st can I finally... I can't, I can't even sell them because they're still not old enough. I hate that. I have to just get an idea how to do this. Um, what about you guys? Why is that like, okay, we can actually sell... You're too old. We need, oh, okay, well, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rehome them too. Let's do this. And yeah, well, then we have to... I mean, we will get back to this area anyway, so we'll get another male um, Colombian uh, capuchin monkey thingy. Oh god, what is what a stress here guys. What a stress. Okay, so still that I mean this is all them. They will do better in a bit. Oh no, we have a lot of them still in there. Okay, so we are going to just get rid of those. Um in transit to habitat that's better, so they still do all not too well. And then we come to all the warthogs and I'm gonna get rid of one, two, and three. Uh are you mates? Okay, well actually actually we have still one one more male. In here this is this is still too old there's another male oh god look look at oh boy okay you know what oh no I can't get rid of the babies so I will get rid of basically all the adults in this habitat um, well except Cambo Cambo can still stay you know that will hopefully help oh my lord there are even more <laughs> okay never mind then um, we have also okay that's not too much we have put up okay well, whatever um, we're gonna rehome all of them it costs money, but that's fine. Um, and the other ones didn't work, right? So the other ones, uh, I still have to, still have to check what I do with the other ones, right? Yeah, I didn't do that. Now let's just still, we keep uh, Cambo and Hawa can go as well. And then there's a lot to look at. Okay, the rest is doing, the rest is tr doing pretty well. So we're just going to get rid of those. Good, and that is fixed. Good. Now, um, yeah, I was looking into animals. You guys also get what's also by the way. Oh God, look at <laughs> look at how bad this all is. Uh, I I mean, you know, all these fixes we need to do to keep on building this. I mean, I will finish the Asian area here, and then uh, we will definitely do all the fixes needed. We will do the freaking uh, fix in in here, um, like making sure that the overall traffic is better and then uh, down here in this Asian area there's no big deal whatsoever but we will definitely have to do is we also have to get uh, some of these uh, vending machines and just plop them also in this area so that you know everyone can get the drinks wherever they need I mean it's just incredible how needy they are in terms of uh, drinks and food it's just insane you always have like shops and stuff but it's like if you don't have them like every two meters they're like mm, nope I don't like 
which is which is just insane. Okay, but now speaking of animals, I have no idea what we do. Like we talked a lot about this. We have the orangutan now. I mean, um, there's not that much more we could do except like the farmers and black bear obviously does work um, in terms of uh, Asia. You know, that's definitely uh, an area we can go for. We could also I don't know. I just don't know guys. I mean, we said Flamingo, which is still part of Asia, so that works. We can obviously do the Himalayan Brown Bear. You know, that would also work, but it doesn't really work too well in here. What we could do is obviously we can do the Indian Elephant. I think that could be a good one. Yes, let's do the Indian Elephant, right? I think that could be fun. I think we do the Indian Elephant, because that still fits to Asia as well, and that is like a huge area we can we can leverage for that. I think I like this idea quite a lot. Yes, this is what we do. I mean, the Indian elephant, that is like the perfect area for them. I didn't even think about it. Yes, guys, we'll do that. We will do this. So this is going to be the Indian elephant area, and this is like going to be like a really nice little habitat for them. Cool, let's just, let's just go, because that is really cool. So we are going to take um, our Asian wall over here um, to the next level. They can't really jump that crazy so we can actually make very nice usage of that one um, let me just copy that over because I want to have the same wall going straight from wait there is another gate I'm just wondering where I put the entrance we have all this I, I want to put the entrance here I guess and then we'll put I mean I like that you do have like an okay whatever which is gonna how does this work if we put that here just go all the way so yeah that's still way big enough um, that's fine and what we will do, we will just like cop. Wait, how is that even not on the? Wait, it's not the right height. That's why. Good. Now we have it, and let's put that on one meter, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, one, two, great. And what we will do as well is just like, can I have one? Um, it's not even. Ah, uh, whatever. We just do it that way, and then um, this this little bit over here has to be. Just delete that one, take a full wall, that is good. Because we can actually make this thing, turn that thing into the shelter for them and just kind of pretend that this is, you know, already kind of the building they need um, to access the animals. And you even have like these windows from the staff room looking into the habitat. I think I quite like that. I think I quite like this, guys. So we're just going to oops, plop that down in the right position, I was about to say. Sometimes I'm so confused why there is like a seamless way now and whenever I wanted to do this um, in the building, they always still, even though putting that on zero um, grid height, it still had like a little step in between, but some, sometimes it just doesn't. I mean, it's, it's kind of weird. I mean, I'm not complaining too much because it still is working quite well, but still it's, it's kind of confusing. Um, I think I like this a lot over here, but uh, what I want to do um, I think I want to make make sure that this is like a little bit of a more um, kind of natural border area over here. So make this a bit like so, and then I'm gonna make that a little more pinchy, punchy, pinchy, punchy, whatever you want to call that. So just making sure that there is a bit of a more natural uh, kind of border over here. It's gonna smooth that out nicely. We are going to you know use a lot of rocks and stuff to make it still look good. We have our wonderful blueprint of rocks that we can use. I, I think that's not even steep enough here, so they can still somewhat move over. I'm gonna drag this all down to make that like a normal natural little border over here. So there you go. And we can also already paint that like a little bit into this. So there you go. Just a bit of a natural border for the guests to walk by and then yeah, I guess to make that all look good, uh, we do have this bit and we can use that over here. Since they have a very bad um, management of moving over uh, rocks and stuff, that could already help and be enough for natural border of those. But I will use the um, I will use the barrier to make that still look very nice indeed. And while I do so, I will just take a little drink here because my voice is starting to crack again. Mm. Which um, I still ha I still don't have that under control. I'm not really sure what exactly that is, but um, oh, talking of my voice, by the way, I uh, do have the little issue that um, my videos I recently were way too low of a volume, and I'm very sorry for that. I have still no clue what that is. Like in my Premiere Pro, we are in the meantime at over 20 decibel plus. 
and still the videos are super super low um, on YouTube and I have no idea what that is so I I really I keep putting that up but I I'm really worried that the quality suffers even more from it now so I will try to fix this but I'm I'm not sure how exactly that is I'm not sure if that's partly because of a codec or whatever I'm doing wrong but um, there is something really significant wrong about this and I have not really a clue what that is to be honest so yeah we're going to have a look what that is now I also want to just borrow me this build and make that a little bit more suitable for our elephants by making that a little bit bigger and also yeah you know giving them a bit of a nicer transition area I think you know what we could do let me just see if we can just pull that all down a bit more here and just bring that one down and just bring that one down too. I mean, that should be nice. Um, it's not going to be like the smallest thing ever. So we are going to bring that one way over here. And then I will, I will actually, you know, what I, I will do is I will basically try to make sure that this one it's also going to be copied twice. I'm gonna put this, ah, see, that's not working yet, but we are going to put this here. Yeah, no, that doesn't fit like exactly like I wanted it to, but like this, so there you go. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that we have the same building style. Uh, we can delete that one. Just give me this and then I think we are fine just doing that over here. Just bringing that one in. Oops, that is not exactly the right position. Um, so that's nice. That's actually really nice. And what I will do now, uh, just to make sure that we have the same, I'm just going to plop this in here, this in there, and there. And now we will obviously need to open this up quite a bit. Um, so let me just delete mostly the inner part here. And I think. You know, it's inevitable to, to make this even wider because that's not gonna work else. But I'm, I'm trying to make this only halfway through. So we are going to move these things all over. There you go. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. A little bit more. And then, yeah, well, just keep that like this. Okay, I'm gonna move this window a tad bit to this right hand side here. Same goes for you. You move to a line with there, and you move to a line with here. I'm still not sure if that's enough, by the way, but we will see. We will just see, and then move this one in, and the same goes over here. I'm not sure if that is even working, by the way. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna delete the back side because that will make them uh, having more space, and I could imagine that this is exactly the tiny bit of space that they need. Uh, oops, what did I even delete? Oh no, that's. I think that's, I mean, height-wise, we still need to kind of do it that way. There you go. And just, you know, deleting these things. And then I hope, is this like a, wait, no. What is that even? Is this like a plaster one? Oh, look at that. That's, that's pretty handy. Um, we, oh, wait, can I? It's like that, like that, and like that. And can I just, thank you. Because now I can just move this down. We have this little bit of airflow on the top, which is nice. This is for only for the keeper over here, you know, just making sure that the keeper goes in nicely enough. So there you go. That's all good. Um, and I'm just hoping that this helps already to house the elephants. I mean, in the far back, that looks that looks kind of neat. That looks kind of neat. And we put some bamboo next to this, and then that should be fine. I mean, they don't like this um, too much with like um, all the all the stuff. I mean, what we could do. In order to make this look very easy and nice, we can just do the following, you know, that that's gonna be good. I guess that's gonna be fun. We're going to put like a lot of bamboo in now. I think this is the only type of plant they like, or they, well, let's put it otherwise, they don't hate. So we're going to put this here. And then what we could do, and I have a certain idea that this could look kind of cool. Just gonna put a bit of uh, bamboo here. Another one just uh, there. Let's have a bigger one this I've got a certain idea I have no clue if that works out guys but um we'll see good so that is the habitat uh, for the African elephants for the moment because now we will actually need to make the habitat work and I have a particular idea how to do this 
and you know fingers and hooves crossed um oh that's actually a good co code word let's say hooves crossed because honestly hooves crossed makes no sense how how would you is that like toes crossed would you say that i don't know um fingers hooves toes toes crossed let's let's keep it um hooves crossed you know oh god i can't even i can't even say that hooves crossed um is the code word for the little competition i said at the beginning for those of you who stick with me to this point let's put hooves crossed uh in the comments and you are able to win that i mean um, obviously, when you put that down, people know the code work and don't need to listen to this point. Haha, <laughs> that's not the point. Um, but still, that, that's going to be a little fun challenge if that is working. And you got to tell me if this is working for you or not as a little cool element of surprise in the videos. I don't know. You know, you could also just wait. You know, that's also like a little thing. If you guys just watch this very early on, you can also wait and play this a little bit more tactically. Um, you don't need to say this right now. You can also just wait and come back later and comment because I won't do the giveaway like tonight. I will actually do this later. So um, it's it might be it might be clever to wait a little bit. You know, uh, in order to make sure that not everyone has the chances to uh, spot that right away. But yeah, that's just just a little bit of an idea I had here. Okay, so um, what we we're gonna do as well is we're going to make sure that we have a little bit of a fence, as I said, that goes through here, through the mountains. There you go. So just like as it is just a little bit of a wall, we're going to lower that down to one meter, so that's fine. Um, and now we can also go back into into this mode. I have no idea how I will do the separation over here because they can clearly walk through the water. So basically what we need to do, I mean I can put some rocks there, but I want to make sure that we do have like a nice viewing gallery over here. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just use the glass wall. Um yeah wait first of all we use the this wall here but then I put some some glass panels in. Like this could be like a nice viewing opportunity for the people. And then, yeah, we call that around here. And then this is going to be, since that's a bridge, they can't cross here anyways. And then what we need is some kind of border. Oh, wait, that makes no sense. Uh, some kind of border over here that is... Uh, why is that not working? It's still too close. Good, 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 good. I got it, I got it. And some kind of borders that work well over here. I mean, I'm quite sure they won't be able to go through here, though. But... You never know with these sneaky animals, so we're just going to make sure there is a potential border we can use down here. So I'm gonna just build that all across here and then, well, in the back, just like, wait, yeah, yeah, I know, it's because of the path. Yeah, there you go. Just make that like invisible wall again and boom. Okay, the habitat is done. This is the habitat uh, as it stands right now and we will basically make this look a lot better now by just moving all of these down to like one meter. I think it does matter because they can't jump over and so it's just like a little protection in case they can go there but I'm quite sure they can't so that's fine and we are going to make this one also like just a one meter barrier. We can also use that one. I think this fits a little bit better to Asia Ooh, um, and we can also lower that one down as much as possible because that's like also just a little wall to make sure they don't go through. I mean, I can also, I could also use glass here, but I'm not sure if they can destroy glass. So we will also just wait if they can do so or not um, to swim there. And then we should be, should be good seeing that. Now, the, the one thing I wanted to do, I wanted to kind of uh, enclose these things here to make it a bit more realistic because these animals um, as we figure now a few times already they are quite destructive and therefore they mostly don't really go well together with the plants in their habitat now what i do i kind of build these planters around with the barriers now and i'm just hoping that they will keep them away just as a little bit of a realistic thing you know um not sure if that works too well, but you know, just, just having a bit of realism, even though it's just like franchise, but that doesn't mean we have to do everything unrealistic, you know? We can also just spend the time uh, more clever to make sure that we have a little bit of realism aspect going on. So, and still, you know, still making it look good. We can thought, you know what, I never did this, but let's paint that like full red. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Even though this red is not my, my type of red for over here, but we can make this like a little bit more Darkish. There you go. Yeah, that's that's a little bit better. That looks a bit nicer. Also in terms of Asian Asian stuff, you know, just gonna make this like so. Yeah, it's a bit more colorful. 
would you paint that this way? I have no clue if you would, but whatever, you know. So let's do the same to you. And also lower it all the way down. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And now let's bring in the let's bring in the animals first, and then we have to check. Okay, that's connected. That's good. Um, and then we have to check how that works. We are now 24 minutes in, which is pretty, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Now we have to go and first of all de-check that one, and then we go to the Asian, uh, Indian elephant, uh, Indian elephant. There you go. Which is also the Asian elephant, but it's for me. It's like you know, it's the Indian. Do I also have one in my storage? Let's have a look. I have. Oh my lord! I have no space anymore. Are you kidding me? Hmm. God, I I really need to get rid of some animals. We do have some flamingos though. That's good. Some baby flamingos. Um, we can actually put both in. I'm not sure if we do this this episode, but uh, at least we have the chance to, which is good. Two baby elephants as well. Look at the price. Look at that price. The price is not good. Price crazy. Um, good. This is price-wise fully fine. Uh, yeah, it's Frontier Zoo, so obviously that's fine. That one is also good. Age-wise, that's you know something else. But you know, this is this is really. Yeah, no, that's fine. I think I'm gonna go get those those two, so that's fine. Now we have three of them, um, and we can just bring them basically in. Now move into this habitat. Wait for the next one. This is going to be you, and then we are going to do the same, like the third one. Right, good. So now while I hit play again a little bit and wait until they are delivered we can already put some enrichment items in Indian L uh, whatever that should be fine facility without which facility though oh well okay well well yeah yeah we will check that later I'm too lazy to do this now blueprints off yeah you keep annoying me with that until I do I am aware of that so this is common water has been traded out of the zoo fine this is another play item we can have. Actually, you know what we do? We put this rubbing pillar here, so they have a reason to go over. Um, not sure, you know, if I put this here, they, you know, the keeper wouldn't go there. So I'm gonna put this there. Um, we put the little thing here, and then inspector is arriving soon. I'm gonna put the food up in this area, and then we can also have like a hanging burial feeder goes here. So they have like a very nice way of moving around. I think that should be fine. And every good elephant habitat needs a ball, so it's gonna be here. Then we have the sleeping stuff. I'm gonna put this all in this area. Oh, damn, they're huge. Okay, I really still hope they can move in there and use that. Even though I'm a little bit worried this didn't work out well. Okay, anyways, it is in here. And now we can have a look to the social group. Yeah, well, that, that's working soon. Um, that's also working soon. Let's have a look into... Oh, it works. That's good. They only have this area of escape potential, which is what I said. Um, we're just putting some rocks here and that's all good. I mean, that's really... F that's fairly good that this didn't work and we needed those walls in there. Um, but now let's actually do the little terrain painting already. Um, I knew that they will use a lot more uh, soil, so this is also why we're just going to make it that way. You know, just blend this all in a little bit more nice. And also, can I just have some more sand in the riverbed that this does this work? And some grass. I mean, just grass doesn't make too much sense, but like do it that way. Good. And now we can go with them with grass short because that's what they also like more. There you go. We can just blend that in a little bit better. Nice. I want to have especially up here a bit more green. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Cool. Um, we can also do some more rock over here, just blending that in nicely. Good, some rocky and stuff there. Oh, that's so good. Okay, now the only thing we have to do, like always, just go way up down here. This is good. And then we say, you selected and we are using, yeah, perfect, perfect. Now let's just make that really, really, really easy here. So that this moves in like nicely enough. Good. I love that. I love that. So you can actually make this look really 
as if this is meant to just fit in here slowly. I mean, I had the chance once that I made this so shallow that I could even put water in here. Yeah, that doesn't work. Um, but that looks still pretty nice. Um, what we will do so, we will also make sure that the intensity goes a little bit up and then we can blend in some green stuff and then we go some soil light as well. Just making sure that this gets a little bit of a different feeling. Some coarse sand as well, which fits this there's a little bit nicer color wise and then we just bring that darker tint back in as well so just that this looks like a little bit of an you know area that is kind of used by the elephants and then what we do just some little bits of grass in here as if they have like you know eaten all of it out here and just like pretended to go out of this muddy bath and then just did it um just like did some How's this even called when they throw themselves on the on the ground and just like make sure that their back is uh, kind of scratched and stuff? Do they scratch themselves? I don't know. I think it looks. I look. I think it's really looking good. Now coverage is not good. Plants is not good because there are a lot of plants they don't like. We do this. Okay, tropical temperate grassland in Asia. So that is. Oops. So let's say um, grassland uh, temperate and tropical is this, and the continent is Asia. And it's not only bamboo. <laughs> okay, so let's put away the blueprints because no one needs them. So we have like kind of cool stuff in here as well we, we could use. Um, I want to use also some of those trees over here to the side because they are really fitting in terms of um, making it look a bit more uh, proper to this area. So I'm going to put some of those plants in here. So like, that looks really good to me. Um, making one of those trees go here and we can also... Uh, oh, look at that, the common ash tree. Oh, uh, lovely. I love the fact that we have some of those things we can really use in these places because that makes, for me personally, a lot of sense to use them because they are pretty big, pretty lush. So that makes sense to make this Asian area look like a lot more um, suitable also to what we have in here anyways. So what else do we have? We have these kind of things we can, you know, what? I'm, I'm just putting a lot of stuff in this corner already because we will use um, this area quite obviously as a little natural border and there will be like a waterfall dribbling down so that's the reason why I'm putting a lot of effort now into finding the right plants to make sure they you know don't get there I guess that's what we want to do and then we can also have like plants like that also fit in these little boxes I'm not sure if I like the red by the way maybe we just change that back to another color the eucalyptus does I mean it's looking good but I don't think it would be suitable for this habitat um, the maple tree always works well, so I'm gonna have one in here as well. Look at these. Makes it actually even like a bit of a bigger box, but that's fine. I'm gonna put this one here, and then we have that one as a smaller. That one goes into the rocks over here, so hoping that they won't destroy it. I think that's kind of nice already, kind of neat. And the only thing we could do, I mean we can, just get some greenery here to the side of the water. It doesn't really change too much about it. The animal in here I'm, I'm really confused why it's changing a little bit though but is it calculating because it's so much moved into the ground because if I put it like this I don't know, it doesn't really change much I guess but um, yeah it was just interesting to see okay let's just put a lot of greenery in that area there and here just to make it look a bit better and then we also should have where is the yeah bracken is also always nice bracken is kind of a thing you can you can always put down to I know it's lady fern, by the way, it's not brown, but whatever. Um, it's floating. Why? Just as a little bit of a ground plant that they potentially wouldn't destroy too much. I mean, they would. They just destroy all the plants in their habitats, but whatever. Um, <laughs> just, I just put them down anyways. I mean, we could have some water lilies in there as well. Wait, is that the same? The right height? So just have some in there, just to make it look a bit more nice like this and then obviously we we'll do the same on this side as well where the guest crossed that river you know that's just river stream of water i think that's the better wording here it's not like a river it's just a stream of artificially blazed water i'm just gonna make that look a bit nicer of the gra ground of the ground what from the get-go just make it look like a bit better cool it looks already at tremendous amount better uh, and now we just uh, delete all the filters please reset all filters there you go back to our friend the rocks 
what's the time saying? 34 minutes, that's pretty damn good for, for an episode today. I want to go for like 40 minutes somewhat, and um, yeah, that should be, should be good and should be doable. Now let's just plop these things in. So this is where the water stream will come out. And now we just put down a few more rocks here and there, just to make sure it, it has a bit more of an interesting appeal to it. I mean, I like the habitat already quite a lot. I did not expect to make it look this way in that short amount of time, but I won't complain. It's, it's really looking good. It's looking very good, guys. So having a few little things poking through here as well. They are very... I also have to be a bit careful because um, these animals are very... Very crazy when it comes to traversable area, so sometimes you can already destroy their traversable area by just putting in a few rocks and it already looks kind of weird. So, um, yeah. So I guess, I guess this is already pretty damn nice. Um, I still wonder if I should make the flamingos go even through this, into this habitat as well. I think I don't, but I think they would come along, wouldn't they? I mean, elephants would not necessarily kill flamingos, would they? I mean, I don't know, I don't want to test it, but, you know, it's just, I think it would work. Cool, let's have a look. Now, you should be very happy, um, except the social group, but that's going to be fixed soon. Yeah, that looks, that looks dope. That looks all the way perfect. I mean, this is by far the biggest habitat for an animal we have in the zoo. Like, so much space for them, for so less requirements, and that is a good, still great. Oh, look at that, we still need to fit some rocks in there. You're going to just plop down this one as we go and then also like a bit of a texture down here if needed so there you go i think it, it will not be able to escape there anymore okay now let's have, have a look because the uh, females are like smaller and so sometimes that leads to more escape potential but no it's not look at this guys look at this okay so this is really cool like the only thing we need to change is basically the viewing but all over that looks already really really good you know what the last thing we are doing the last thing we are doing guys is uh, whoops wrong button um we will def definitely change that back to like a very light gray like very light there you go because i really didn't like yeah that looks that looks like a million times better that looks a lot better i'm quite certain that this is the the better idea <laughs> and not the red. I mean, it was a good idea, but now, yeah, <laughs> I think there's no question in it. And look at this, the guys, they're already here. So that's that's looking pretty fancy. Um, so there you go. Oops, wrong button. I love the fact how this turned out. It really looks pretty, pretty well. I really hope it makes people also go there. Um, let me just grab... Um, b -b 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 where do we have education donation boxes? I don't have any donation boxes here. Why am I so stupid? Okay, so I'm gonna put one here, another here. This is also why they're just not giving me too much money for those animals. I don't get the money. There is some stuff though. I get the litter, but I don't get the money. <laughs> so I'm gonna put all these donation boxes here. I really get a nice little vibe from this area, to be honest. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, I'm wondering though, can I put a little bit of path closer to here? Wait, not that way, but just like so. Oh yeah, that works. I wanna like have a little bit of a sidewalk here. So there we go, and just connect that here, and here. yeah, that looks, that looks, that looks good. That looks good, guys. And now let's go to facilities, and we're going to put down, like, an education thingy here. And we're going to put down one here and here. We're going to make this look a lot more Asian-ish um, on the get-go, uh, from the get-go next episode. I could also think about, wait a second, I could think about using, uh, give me that wall element. We had this in usage quite a little a little bit yet, so yeah, no, that works. Oh, good, I love it. So we're going to use that one quite over here, like this. And I'm going to move this like so. And just as a tiny little bit of Asian vibe here. And then what we will do, let's hide, yeah, we will definitely hide this away as well. So let's do it this way. Oops. Uh, I could just copy from the original location. No need to use uh, Control D. It's actually Control X what we need here. X to the D. Yeehaw! So that is really a little bit Asian stuff we need, guys. Oh god, this looks so good. I love this area so so much. I I would have not believed how cool that looks all of a sudden. I mean, what we can actually easily do, and I think this would actually look really good. Um, let's pop down. The wording log and then 
Yes. See, that one would... I was pretty sure that this works. It's the Australian one, but it still looks kind of cool, I guess. Um, and I think we can also... I mean, it's a bit wider, but we can also just plop that in as a little pillar thingy here as well. They can't really climb too much as well. But, you know, that is, that is pretty dope. So it's a really nice viewing spot for the guest here. I think they have some really good viewings. And then um, we can we can always use like the education over here. Indian, there you go. Look at that, guys. 40 minutes in and the habitat is... Oh, that is quite problematic. Um, I should have thought about that a little bit earlier. I haven't seen that happening <laughs> too often. Uh, can I... Okay, you know, we are going to fix this quickly. We are going to fix that a little bit quickly. I was just about to say that this could be a problem. Um, and now, I mean, can I just move this a little? I'm just going to make this like... <laughs> I'm sorry, I will fix this quickly, but you know... Is this fixed? I mean, the elephant is not yet out here. So I think it just... Yeah, no, that worked. That worked pretty well. <laughs> it's just gonna shit for us. No, that's fine. That's fine. You know what I will do is I will use this little Gabion thing to build like a little um, lower wall that is going to be in front of it. I think that's nice. I'm going to build that first with this because then that's easier to realize. And there you go. Just like that, you know. So they, they won't be able to crash in there anymore. So this is fine. Oops. And then I'm just going to lower that down. Boom. That's kind of nice. And now let's make that like a Gabion wall. I just want to make sure that they can't like move over. And now we can just move this back into position. And then we can make that like a glass wall again. That would be, I mean, that was also pretty stupid of me to believe that they, you know, I mean, that was super stupid. <laughs> that was super stupid. It's kind of easy for them to destroy that. But oh boy, look at these. Look at the look at the elephant area, guys. It's actually, it became better than I even, even dreamed of. And oh, look at that. Like the elephant through here and the vista of it. And, you know, just, just with the sunlight in the back. And oh, I, I'm a big fan of this area, guys. I am a big fan of this wonderful African... Uh, oh no, African what? Indian elephant. This is what it is. The Indian Asian elephant habitat and it looks absolutely freaking gorgeous. Look at this. Yeah, it's going to the water. It's actually having now the light halo around it. Oh, it's looking, it's looking dope. Looking really good. Looking really, really good. Like this is exactly what you need. The elephant getting a little drink there and just having very nice viewing angles. Oh god, this looks this looks fantastic. Yes, guys, yes, yes, yes. I am I am happy. I'm happy with the work we did today. We did a good work. We get it we, we did it guys. We did a good job. We have only nine <laughs> nine problems and um yeah, we need more mechanics, I guess, but for the moment, that's all good. Our guests are feeling also way better. And now this is the point for me to end this episode. And look at that, uh, form-wise, um, our zoo is coming together nicely and we just have one last area left, which I have no idea what we do with it, but this area is, is still left. And then, yeah, this is mostly the zoo as we have it. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure to think about this word I said in the middle of the video. Um, put it down in the chat and uh, like in the in the comments and then have a chance to win a game. Now, that said, I am saying goodbye to you. I wish you all the best for the day and also uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you like the content. That helps me out a lot and until then, uh, have a good time, stay safe and goodbye everyone.